Ah, oh, here you are. Are you waiting for someone? For me? Well, you should have summoned me earlier. Regardless, here I am. No, nothing in particular. In fact, that's why I came here. This place, the Goddess Tower, it was special to my parents. My father attended the Officer's Academy himself. A few years after graduating, he was crowned Emperor. One day, during a visit to the monastery, he snuck into the Goddess Tower on a nostalgic whim. And there she was, my mother. She had just enrolled in the Academy that very year. They were instantly drawn to each other. Love at first sight, you could say. It was the first time either had truly been in love. Or so the story goes. Yes. Of course, as Emperor, my father had already married for political reasons. As the Empire demands many heirs, he also had numerous other lovers. In the end, my mother settled for becoming one of his many consorts. But I choose to believe there was genuine love between them. <laughs> I suppose it's a silly story to cling to. Hmm. For some reason, I feel compelled to tell you all of these things I have kept hidden. I can't say the name, but it was a noble who I met in the kingdom a lifetime ago. Anyway, what about you? It's your turn to reveal some long-held secret. You can share a story about your past, or perhaps tell me about your first love. You're telling the truth. I can tell. Hmm. I wasn't even able to make you blush. <laughs> no, I'm the one who should have. Wasn't my intention to pry. I'm just intrigued by you and your mysterious past. You have supposedly always been a mercenary, but I believe there's more to your story than that. Let's leave it there for today and return to the ball. There must be plenty of students hoping to talk with you and to dance with you. I would not wish to prevent you from mingling. I cannot keep you all to myself, after all. Professor, you're late. To tell the truth, it was an act of sheer hope that I might find you here. I'm glad to find I was right. I hope to find you so I might ask, well, I would very much like to research your crest. Does that mean you might be interested eventually? Let's decide the place and time right now then. What? Is that not acceptable? Anyway, have you heard the legend of this place, Professor? It's a sentimental one to be sure. The story goes that if two people share a vow at the Goddess Tower, they'll be bound together forever. Hmm. Or was it that they'll be cursed forever? One or the other for certain. All the same, I think it's a rather lovely legend. <laughs> Professor, be warned. This may seem forward of me. However, let's vow that one day, I will be allowed to research your crest as much as I please. I've overstepped my bounds again, haven't I? It's just that today is such a special day, and, well, I suppose I got caught up in all the excitement. How about this instead? Let's agree to meet here again one day, just the two of us. Such an opportunity won't just arise, we have to make it happen for ourselves. I look forward to that day. I really do.
right. I'm better now, thanks. But try not to scare me like that again, please. With the ball happening tonight, I was sure there wouldn't be anyone here. And from far off, you look... Well, you kind of have a spooky silhouette. Legend? Oh, so if a couple swears a vow on the night of the ball, the goddess grants their wish? That's amazing! Is it true? I guess that's the sort of thing you miss when you spend all your time avoiding people. <sighs> but wouldn't it be nice to spend some time alone with a nice guy in this lonely tower, cut off from all the rest of the world? Oh, Professor! Since you're here and all, could I ask you for a favor? As you probably know by now, it's my lifelong dream to live in solitude forever. So, could you help me to swear that vow? Saw right through me, huh? Ah, oh, well, no use complaining. Actually, I'm happy I got to see you here tonight. Even if it was just by coincidence. Would you mind staying a little longer? It's nice and quiet, and the sky's really pretty. I quite like the atmosphere. On a night like this, being out in the open doesn't seem so bad. <laughs> ah, Professor! You showed up! <laughs> Well, because the letter I sent, right? Are you saying this is? I'm here specifically to see me. Still, if we're meeting by complete chance, that has a certain appeal too. It's as if destiny brought us together. <laughs> And tonight is the night of the ball. Lucky me. Plotting? That's a bit rude, don't you think? I just wanted to see if you'd come here like I asked. That you would. Though, I suppose you didn't even read the letter to begin with. I should just be thankful I wasn't left here waiting. All alone. Forever. Do you know it's been almost nine whole moons since you arrived at Garrig Mock? You must have found a special someone by now, haven't you, Professor? Are you changing the subject? Don't do that. Oh, I bet that means you do have someone, don't you? Don't you worry. I won't pry if you don't want to share. These things are private, after all. Well, I ought to get going. I wouldn't want to be in the way if your special someone shows up. Either way, I do hope you'll share a dance with me later. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Is the ball not enjoyable? <gasps> Escape? I thought the ball was for dancing, not fighting. Oh! Escape, meaning to leave. I have understanding. I have been hearing about a legend, about the Goddess Tower. People have a belief that the Goddess watches this place on this night. If you share a promise, the Goddess will make that promise become true. That makes men and women who are close come to this place on this night. I am wanting to see that. And so I came to observe, with secrecy. But no one is here. They have much disappointment. Someone might arrive still. We could go find a hiding spot for both of us. We may have to be squished with each other, but I will not be worried if you are not. Oh! I have a realization. If someone sees us here with each other, they will think that we are with each other. That is not accepting, uh, acceptable for people to misunderstand. Is that okay, Professor? 
I think we are agreeing on that. Maybe we should be returning to the ball with each other. Why, Professor, I was wondering where you ran off to. I searched the entire floor but couldn't find you anywhere. Tired, are we? I can tell by that look on your face. It must be exhausting being so popular, huh? I can imagine. Shall we take a break here then? Say, Professor, have you heard the legend of the Goddess Tower? They say that if two people exchange a vow here, the Goddess herself will fulfill it. So even you have heard that one. The stories must travel far. Many young couples come here in private, all thanks to that legend. They make promises to stay together forever, things like that. I actually saw a man invite a lady to join him at the tower while on my way here. It's rather romantic, don't you think? <laughs> Indeed. Just because two people share a promise, that doesn't guarantee they'll be together forever. You've noticed many nobles at the Academy, right? They very rarely have the freedom to choose their own partners, yet still they wish to stay together. Maybe that's why they pray to the Goddess. Are you waiting on anyone, Professor? Even though we didn't make plans to meet? You're a charmer, aren't you? Ah! Oh, I almost forgot why I came looking for you. I was wondering if you'd like to dance with me. It's just so loud in the reception hall, though. I think I'd rather stay here with you. If that's alright with you, Professor. Thank you. I appreciate it. Sir, I'm happy to see you here. Everybody's been asking about you. You're really popular with the students. Oh, really? Huh. Uh, actually, I've been trying to find you too. But if you're not interested in dancing, that's okay. We are supposed to be at a ball though. If you're not gonna dance tonight, when and where will you get another chance? Wait, really? There isn't any music. But this is too special to pass up. Maybe I could sing a little something. <laughs> I may not look like it, but I'm a practiced singer. Though people do tend to think my lyrics are a little odd. Fry the food, it tastes so good. It fills up our hungry tummies. It's about this yummy stew one of the monks taught me to make a while back. Oh, I know! I'll make it for you! It really is just about the tastiest thing in the world. Uh, if I'm bothering you, please tell me now and I'll leave you alone. Say, Professor, did you know that if you make a wish here at the Goddess Tower, it will for sure come true? That's why people usually meet up with someone they like here, for a rendezvous and they make a wish that they'll stay together forever. So, uh, I thought you might be waiting for a girl here, and that I'm messing it up. <laughs> That's just what I'd expect you to say. But since we're already here, let's go ahead and make a wish together. <laughs> I've already decided what it will be. Dearest Goddess, I wish for the Professor and I to always be the best of friends. How's that sound? Can we wish for that? Really? That makes me so happy. Well, I'd better be going now, and you should think about returning to the ball too. But make sure you save me a dance. I 
I can't manage one more bite. So full. So full. Oh, Professor. What do you think you're doing here? I came here to stuff my... I mean to have some me time. Oh, so we're just running into one another by chance then. Phew. If you had followed me here, I'd be a little bothered and probably embarrassed. Who, me? No, no, of course not. I was just about to walk off all that food I just ate. Really, I came here to have some privacy. But you're here now, so I suppose that makes it a bit less private. I suppose there's that possibility, now that you mention it. Does that concern you too, Professor? I'm happy to return to the reception hall. If we return from here together, I worry that people would start unsavory rumors about us. I don't concern myself with gossip, but I'd hate for it to mar your reputation in any way. Are you certain? Fair enough. Let's head back then. Professor? I saw you wandering off to this tower. I thought you might be lost or something, so I followed you inside. Everyone seems to be looking for you. You're surprisingly popular. Despite your confidence, I'm still surprised by your popularity with the ladies. It isn't like you're very sociable after all. Not to be rude, mind you. wouldn't know to be honest. I have no interest in such things. The Academy is for honing one's skills, not for frivolous romances, despite what the other students may think. I overheard them gossiping about a place where a man and a woman can make a vow, and it is certain it will come to pass. Seems to be some folk tale they enjoy. I wonder where this place is. I recall now. It's... Wait. That's... That's here, isn't it? Uh, just to be clear, this is pure coincidence. I didn't follow you for... For that. But we are here alone. So people may wonder what our aim is. Let's get out of here before someone sees us and gets the wrong idea. Are you... You saying you don't mind if someone sees us and thinks? Oh, I suppose you believe there's no danger of that since it's just me. You're treating me like a child, aren't you? Well, I don't mind either then. Obviously, there's nothing going on here. If you are gonna stick around until we collect dust, then so will I. Actually, I'm gonna go now. Don't you stay too long either. You'll catch your death of cold out here. Please be patient. I'll be done with my prayer in a moment. Dear Goddess, I beg thee. Oh! Professor? No, I'm the only one here. Um... Well, more accurately, I'm the only human present. My bird friend is here as well. No! Well, it's more like the bird is... doing me a favor. They say if a man and a woman pray here, on this night, their wish will come true. At least, that's how the legend goes. It's a pigeon. A male pigeon. At least I think so. I thought he might count as a man. Well, 
I'd better be leaving. It seems my pigeon friend got impatient and flew away. No, it's fine. The goddess probably wouldn't accept a male pigeon anyway. Oh? Um... Are you saying you'll pray with me, Professor? Thank you! If you have a wish for the future, let's pray for it, okay? Who, oh, me? Oh, nothing in particular. Let's pray for your wish. There must be something you want. Well? Hey! No need to tease me. Professor? I must be going now, but... I'm glad I ran into you. Professor! You're not waiting for anyone, right? Thought so! I bet you've never heard the legend about this tower, then. Something special happens here during the ethereal moon on the night of the ball. First, an unmarried boy and girl need to meet at the goddess tower and make a vow. Then, the goddess will grant them divine protection and ensure that their vow comes true. Or so they say. It's a well-known story among the students. A couple guys invited me up here, but... Yes, I did. If I accepted their invitations, then our vow would come true. It's just a legend, sure, but I prefer to be cautious about such things. One of the guys was pretty handsome, and he came from a good family. But that doesn't really tell you what a person's like on the inside. I want a life partner who's good-hearted and good-looking. Anyway, I went for a walk and happened upon you, and I thought, the professor's perfect. Why don't I just make a vow with him? Ha! <laughs> I'm just kidding, Professor. To be honest, I wanted to spy on you. See if you had someone else up here. Although, if you did want to make a vow with me, I wouldn't object. Need some time to consider? Hang on! It won't mean anything tomorrow. Oh, I get it. Everyone's looking for you down there, girls included. You don't want to keep them waiting. You're pretty smooth, you know that? Well, I'm off then. I'll see you at the ball. <sighs> Did the goddess hear that conversation? Hey, Professor. You all alone here? I mean, you're not waiting for anyone or anything, are you? <laughs> Liar. I saw Lady Rhea just moments ago. She was in the reception hall. Anyway, I saw you heading to the tower, so I thought I'd drop by. I figured you might be lonely. <laughs> hey, don't make it weird. By the way, have you heard the legend about this place? They say if a guy and a girl make a promise here together, the goddess will make sure it's kept. It's a pretty well-known legend. Thing is, the way the story goes, it doesn't work all the time. It has to be the night of the ball. Tonight. So, since it's just you and me here, what do you say we give it a go? I mean, I don't know if the goddess will really take the time for a pair like us, but it's worth a try. Well, you know, let's make some kind of promise. We've got the chance, it'd be a shame to waste it. I mean, not something romantic or anything. That'd be weird. We could promise I'll become a top-tier mercenary. Though, I guess that's more of a wish. Let's see... Okay, I've got it. 
I solemnly swear to meet you once more on this very ground as a mercenary beyond compare. Oh, but that was all about me. No fair. You probably have something you want to promise, too. <laughs> you really do take after Captain Gerald, always putting others first. All right then, Goddess, you heard the promise. It's a done deal. Say, Professor, why did you come out here anyway? Ah, oh, well, it is pretty crowded down there. I guess I shouldn't have interrupted. I'll leave you to it. But don't stay out here too long, all right? You'll catch a cold. Professor? Is that you over there? It seems both of us were curious about this place. <laughs> oh, perhaps I was mistaken. I figured you had come to this tower after having heard the legend. <laughs> you have not heard of it then? I suppose I only recently learned of it myself, from a friend. But on the night of a ball, when a man and woman pledge vows at this very tower, the goddess will bestow her blessing, ensuring those vows come to pass. Of course, such things do not really come to pass. But there are many who place stock in this legend. I wondered what sort of vows youths tend to pledge. So here I am, hoping to gain deeper understanding. Only to bump into you! Are you meeting someone here, perchance? That's unfortunate. I wonder if anyone else will be coming. Professor? If the legend were true, what type of vow might you pledge? No ideas? Perhaps your imagination is lacking due to the lack of a partner. What say you to being my partner? How about sharing a vow with me? I'll give you until the count of three to come up with something heartfelt and honorable. One, two, three. Go ahead. Oh! You made my heart flutter. I see. This is the type of vow one would make to another. You've taught me well, as a professor should. I'm most certainly wiser and more mature than I was, even just moments ago. Oh dear, what if the goddess really did hear your vow? Although, I suppose I would not mind if that turned out to be the case. <laughs> I bid you good evening. <laughs> 